Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm your host, Guy DeMalta. The U.S. Air Force recruiter will be here and available to meet with students interested in a military career path during lunches on Wednesday, April 21st, outside in the library courtyard, weather permitting. Starting Wednesday, April 21st, the student store is having a buy one, get one sale on desi designated t-shirts. You can shop the classic tees on the store's website or stop in the store to look around. The sale ends April 30th. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Please pick up an application and teacher recommendation forms from Mrs. Hager in the guidance office. Applications must be turned in to Mrs. Kubis in room H108 by April 30th. Tickets for the Chick-fil-A Olympics will be on sale from now through April 23rd at F202 during Wildcat time and odd days during lunch in the Commons area. When buying the ticket for your team, make sure to bring $20, team members' names, contact info for the team leader, team name, team theme, or color. We go to Jade and Lisi for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, we're seeing cloudy skies with a high of 63 and a low of 44. Tomorrow, expect the high of 66 and a low of 42 with more cloudy skies. Finally, on Wednesday, expect some moderate showers with a high of 45 and a low of 34. That's the three-day forecast. Back to you, Sky. Thanks, Jaden. The GLSC Faculties and Operations Department is offering summer employment to students interested in summer work experience. Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and the pay is $8.50 per hour. Duties will include general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. Interested students should send a letter of interest and resume to Mr. Kurt Thomas, Director of Facilities, Operations, and Planning by May 4th. Please reach out to Mrs. Yetter with any questions. Texas Roadhouse in Greensburg is hiring hosts, dishwashers, bussers, and cooks. They offer flexible work schedules and opportunities for advancement. You can apply online at apply.texasroadhouse.com. Greater Latrobe Drama Club will present Bright Star Concert version virtually on April 23rd and 24th at 7 p.m. and April 25th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $25 per device and available for purchase at latrobedramaclub.com. Written by Steve Martin and Eddie Brickle, this professionally filmed virtual performance is only an hour long and well worth your time. Now here is Luke Hamity with the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks, Sky. Here's your Latrobe Sports Report for today. To start off today, your boys' tennis team will head to Gateway at 3.30 p.m. to play the Gators. Additionally, the boys' baseball team will battle against the Gateway Gators at our turf at 7 p.m. Lastly, the boys' lax team will host Cannon Mac at 7.30 p.m. In national sports news, there will be nine games set to play in the NHL. Most notably, the Carolina Hurricanes battle the Tampa Bay Lightning at 7 p.m. For my NBA fans, there will also be nine games being showcased across the league. One key matchup will include the Utah Jazz heading to Staples Center to play the LA Lakers at 10 p.m. This game could be streamed live on ESPN. Lastly, the Pirates do not play today, but will start a three-game series tomorrow against the Detroit Tigers at 6.30 p.m. That is all for National Sports. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Luke. We go now to Alexis Coletti with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. The body of an LF student, Corey Gother, who went missing a week ago, has been found in the Mississippi River. Kim Potter, the Minnesota police officer who fatally shot Dante Wright after appearing to mistake her handgun for her taser, was arrested on Wednesday and charged with second-degree manslaughter. And finally, a poll by Monmouth University revealed that 21% of Americans plan to never get the COVID-19 vaccine, which some fear will pose a hurdle to the path to national herd immunity. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here's Adina Prue with Entertainment News. Thanks, Alexis. In entertainment news, Taylor Swift sent a frontline nurse gifts and a handwritten note. Brea Thomason, a nurse who has served on the front line of the pandemic in Georgia, shared in an interview with The Telegraph that she was a fan of Taylor. Britta said, I love Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. I won't deny it. This last statement led Taylor into sending a package to express her appreciation. Swift sent a bunch of her merch and wrote to Thomason personally to thank her for helping others during this time. That's all for entertainment news. Thanks and back to you. This year's musical is Bright Star and Lydia Keurig definitely shines bright in the arts. Here's reporter Emily Sweeney with today's Student Spotlight. 
Freshman Lydia Curick has been involved in the arts since she was young. She started singing at age seven and her love for the arts has only grown since. Um, probably being able to be with like all my friends and really being able to go on stage and act with them. And it's, still, it's a different feeling during COVID, but it's, it's really an enjoyable time. Lydia has been involved in six musicals through both stage right and the school. Through these musicals, she has gained a lot of experience and new friends. Um, I've made a lot of great, great friends that now I can call best friends. And it's like going into junior high, you don't really know anybody. And now uh, being in the senior high, meeting more people that are like upperclassmen, but still um, being able to have these great bonds that I've made back when I was younger. From being in the ensemble to getting lead roles, Lydia has done it all in the musicals she has been in, but her favorite musical was her first one. Probably Seussical, I'm not gonna lie, that's where I really met a lot of people, uh, being my first musical theater show ever. It's where I met a lot of people and that's really where I started to make a lot of great friends. Being a freshman, Lydia still has three years to be involved in the arts until she graduates. Um. I plan to hopefully go to college and have a minor musical theater and continue doing theater throughout my life because it's really changed me as a person. Very talented participant in the arts. Be sure to watch Lydia and the rest of the musical cast perform Bright Star. We will be back after this message. The annual math department food drive is now underway. This year, it will be a competition between all set two classes to see which class can bring in the most food items. The winning class will receive breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts. The food drive will run until April 23rd, and students can find a list of needed items with their teachers. Please, no glass jars or bottles. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCA TTV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.